no. No, wake up. I finished. What? 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 Look, what? what? I finished the picture. You've done it. You've done it. Look at it. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's all right. It's not bad. Don't get it's excited. The colours and everything. Are the... Where's the door? It's beautifully done. Where's the door? What, what the door? What have you done with the door? Uh, what have you done? Over... What have you done with the it's door? Over. It's over. What have you, what what have you done with the door? You wallpapered over the oh, door. Oh, you stupid. Oh, oh, no, I've got to come down. Oh. Oh. Crinkly Bottom, there's a lot of excitement in my Crinkly Bottom this evening because, of course, <laughs> right after the party, it's down to the village for bonfires. We've got the big bonfire, and I am guest of honour. I am. <laughs> I, was, I was worried when they invited me that I might get a bit chilly tonight, but I'm told that where I'm sitting, I'll be warm enough. So isn't that nice of you, <laughs> nice of you to think of me in that way? Because I do need cheering up. I had a rotten week. Ah. I did. Well, I bumped into a thief on Tuesday. He took my wallet, he took my watch, he took my credit card. Thank goodness he didn't take my lucky charm. <laughs> an apology. I've got an apology. I'm sorry for that disgusting display on last week's house party where I was wrestling with that ridiculous character. I mean, I don't know what came over Susan George. I don't. <laughs> I got home. I don't know, I haven't been home yet. I <laughs> now, now, this is something I'm not happy about. I mean, they keep asking me to show these gotchas, but I'm not happy about them at all. I mean, I don't think that we should show Carol Smiley taking her clothes off. Oh, no, they're going to do it. They're going to show it. No, we mustn't. TV. We've got the latest news from Crinkly Bottom, of course, yes. OK, what do we got there? Oh, uh, there was an upset yesterday at the Crinkly Bottom Jelly Factory. The boss threw a wobbly. And it's uh, page three, thought for the day, of a little no knowledge is a dangerous thing. Tony Blackburn must be harmless. True. <laughs> another, another interesting thought here. You can drag a horse to water, but a church roof must be led. And there's an article... Come on, catch up! <laughs> there's an article about Crinkly Bottom's William Tell Society. Actually, we had the William Tell Society here last night, and the chairman of the society insisted on doing his special act where he shoots an apple off his son's head with an arrow. <laughs> Unfortunately, his son came up to there. <laughs> this is a big moment in Gunge history. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from America, David Hassel! names in American television. He's I'm here. not happy, by the way. I'm uh, not happy. What? I'm not happy. You're not happy. Everton lost. David. Everton lost. I didn't know not you happy. were an Everton fan. David, it's wonderful to see you here. And, of Thank course, uh, we enjoy all your shows, especially the ones down on the beach, all those pretty girls with the bikinis and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, have you had a moment, apart from watching Everton, have you had a moment to catch up on uh, our beaches? Blackpool's great. Yeah, good. <laughs> so, do you think that David Hasselhoff all the way from Los Angeles should actually be gunged? It's 0891 800 311 if it's yes. <laughs> Yes, 800-322 for no, for David Hasselhoff. Great to see you, David. Thank you very much for coming. Now, a lot of people have insulation in their walls. I've got the panel case! <laughs> Louise over here. Louise feels no shame in confessing her lifetime hero is Shaking Stevens. She makes ornaments from nuts and pulses and by converting her wedding dress into a fairy outfit makes public appearances. <laughs> 
I think your life is far too exciting for Crinkly Bottom. Where do we get these people from? She's even brought her mum. This oh. is Pauline. Hello. Hello. Do you not allow her out by herself or something? Not, not very no. Much. Pauline has a dog called Ellie who has an insecure digestive system. <laughs> I thought that was a very beautiful way of putting it. Yeah. She shares her bedroom with two men, her husband and a blow-up Mr Blobby. <laughs> Do you, do you find he make a, makes a funny noise when, when he deflates? He does. Yeah? I blow him up again. Do you? <laughs> yeah. And what about Mr. Block? Yeah, fine. Right. So, we've got over here, um, we've got some sweets, we've got on offer some flowers from the florist shop, easily pleased audience. We've got some juggling balls, we've got the sheep doorstop, there's TVs up there, there's a teapot as well, there's something splendid on the top which you can gamble for. It's just up there behind that bit of panelling and all you've got to do is get the right answers. So we need a question. Give me a question! In which Shakespeare play does Desdemona appear? Othello or Hamlet? Thank you, Sharon. In which play? Is it uh, Othello or Hamlet? Desdemona. Ham Hamlet. 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 Othello. No. <laughs> Give me a question! I have one. <laughs> In the Wizard of Oz, what did the Tin Man ask for? A brain or a heart? Tin Man in Wizard of Oz, he asked for a brain woman. or a heart? A heart. A heart. Tin woman. A heart. It was a heart. What a heart. <laughs> uh, it was a tin oak, no, wasn't it? You're quite right, it was not a tin oak. <laughs> Give me a question! Ooh, ooh, Mr. Edmonds, Mr. Edmonds. Yes, Prue. I haven't got one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, no, I've got one. What yeah. is graphophobia? Graph fear of mathematics or writing? No, it was the fear of having to pronounce it. Shut your box. Graphophobia, is it fear of writing or what was it? Mathematics. Mathematics. Writing. Writing, you're quite right, it's writing. Yes. We're on the card show now, they're getting something. Give me a question. Give me a question, please. Give me a question. I've got one, Noel. Yes. <laughs> you look as if you're holding on to it. <laughs> That wasn't in the script. <laughs> How many letters in the surname of the Russian ballet dancer Mikhail Belashnikov? <laughs> Rashnikov? Yeah. Where'd you get a name like that from, anyway? Well, he got it when the vicar sneezed. He said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many letters in his surname? How many do you know? <laughs> Brashnikov. No, I'm not. Go on, how many Nine. did you... No, 11. It was 11. So, Frank, we're not doing very well here. Give me a question! <laughs> oh, please. Yes? What can, is it, Ruth? Can you tell me where the light switch is? Oh, I don't want to know. Yes, Sharon, a question, Which please. American writer is famous for the well-read book they wrote on baby care? Yes. Dr. Spock or Dr. Ruth? I thought you forgot that. Oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> You banged your head then, didn't you? I, yeah, but, but I, I didn't cry. You've got a lovely pair of drawers there, Tom. <laughs> Mr Spock, yes. it's living proof yeah. that you shouldn't pick a child up by its oh, ears. Oh, it's not worth it. So what was it, uh, this child thing, was it Dr Spock or was it Dr Ruth? Dr Ruth. Dr Ruth, it was Dr Spock! Oh, oh, where do we get them from? <laughs> Give me a question! <laughs> Today Just, uh, is Frank Carson's birthday. Is he 66 or is he 67? Frank Carson, is he 66? 67 at least. Six... <laughs> 66. They've got red and here to put the lights out, the candles out around this cake. <laughs> that was nearly right, Tom. <laughs> so, how old, how old are you? I'm 67. You're 67? Oh, okay. oh right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you were 67. Oh, Mr. Edmund. What is it, Frank? I've got a question at yeah. last. What? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to go back to the dark. We're out of time anyway. Oh, you're 67. Yes, they said 67. We'll give it to you. I don't know what you've won. Maybe you got the sweets, maybe you got the flowers. I'll go as far as saying that you uh, you got the uh, sheep thing as well. Now, are you prepared to gamble for what is in this envelope here? Yes, yes. Go on, yes, go on, yes, go on, yes, go on. Go on, go on. <laughs> Quiet! It's worth gambling because they've not won very much and they've <laughs> thrown it all away anyway for a piece of turf from the Crigley Bottom Aww. Cricket Pitch. Aww. That was the final game. Happy birthday, Frank. Happy, happy birthday. 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 Happy birthday.
Ninety Three. Ninety Three. It's time for the festival. No, no. It's time for the festival. Ninety Three. The, the judges was the vicar and the vicar's wife, Monica Jews. We had Vince from the pits judging everything oh. at the festival. Crinkly Bottom, will you please welcome to the festival those three fine lads from the Crinkly Bottom Garden Centre, the Carl Smith Trio. about the one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. So what uh, do you think of the Carl Smith trio? Um, 30. 30? 30. 10 each, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 30! <laughs> so, a gotcha, a gotcha for Carol Smiley in a while. NTV could make you a star, but it's time for the big pot pie! some stage, we, we tell those little fibs, don't we? You know the sort of thing, no, no, she's my niece, you've heard that one, or uh, I only drink for medicinal purposes, would you say that sort of thing, do you think? No. no, 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 no. I'm looking for James Jenkins. Are you James Jenkins? No. Uh, are you James Jenkins? No. no, are you sure you're not James Jenkins? Uh, are you James Jenkins? No, I'm not getting anywhere here. What about... Are you James no. Jenkins? No. Are you James Jenkins? No. Are you Phil English? Yep. Come on. <laughs> Television's finest and most truthful moment. It's not just for adornment. We need the microphone very close to your mouth so that we can hear every detail of your voice, Phil, because, of course, ladies and gentlemen, the story so far is that no one has beaten the big pork pie and managed to win this magnificent trophy. We had a lady who mud wrestled for money in Australia, and last week a chap who wrote Britain's worst ever pop song. Phil English, can you lie your way to the trophy? You must only say yes or no. <laughs> and we start, as usual, with three control questions for our lie detector that needs to measure the stress in your voice. Is your name Phil English? Yes. And we will get a reading on that. Is this program live? Yes. Do you have dark hair? No. Ah, right, OK. Well, we've got, a, we've got enough information to go on with and allow you to see the truth behind Phil English. I'll just let you uh, take in that information. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the trophy you want to win, you want to get out of here in one piece. So, the real questions. Do you like golf? Yes. Is it true you're so bad at DIY that you made a hole in the wall big enough to see into next door's living room? Yes. <laughs> Do you waltz around your living room while watching Come Dancing? No. Ooh. <laughs> Is it true you have appalling table manners and eat like an iguana? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love fast cars? Yes. Have you ever been stuck for a lift home? Not usually, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is your best friend a used car salesman? Yes. Did he once report his MG midget stolen one night? Yes. <laughs> Were you sympathetic about his lost car? Yes. English, did they ever find the culprit? No. I ask you, 
This is the big pork pie. Did you take your best friend's car, drive it into a ditch, and leave it there, letting him think that to this day it had been stolen? <laughs> no. You did, didn't you? I certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? What? Who owned the car? Lenny Collis. Lenny, now you know. And is there anyone that you would like to subject to the big pork pie? Try and find out the truth in something. Here's the address that I'd like all the information sent to the big pork pie, NTV. What am I talking about? Noel's house party. <laughs> W12 6HP. I get so carried away and excited on this show. I want to get on to. Are you as nervous as I feel? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Shaking like a leaf here. <laughs> now, let's find out how the great David Hasselhoff gunging is going at the moment. Thank you very much indeed for your votes. I understand more than one person has actually called this. So, do you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> to fight back there. Keep calling, whatever happens, keep calling. We do have NTV coming and I could make you a star of it. I hope this is not Nigel Mansell wanting to borrow another of my cars. <laughs> could, you, um, could you tell me something? Is it, uh, is it just autumn or have you dyed those trees to match your hair? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, uh, I just do the lower branches. Oh. <laughs> um, can I put that box somewhere for you? Oh, <laughs> well, that's a very interesting question. Um, I'm Dorothea from the Crinkly Bottom Thrift Shop. Oh, I never go in. Oh, no, no, I know you don't. But you do leave your nose, mouth and beard imprint every time you window shop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well? well? Well, you see, this was left on our doorstep this mm -hmm. morning. And there's some quite interesting things in here. There's a, a T-shirt with Princess Elizabeth for Queen on it. <laughs> yes, and right. um, a pair of aubergine platform sole <laughs> shoes. Yes, there. OK. Yes. <laughs> and uh, a tank top with uh, green, pink... <laughs> 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 Very horrid. <laughs> well, we just thought you might be interested. Three quid the lot. <laughs> oh, no, I think not. No, no, no thank you. No, 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 thank you. No, no. Hold on to the Monday. I'll be a bit around on Monday. <laughs> Special brew for Tim and Pilar, who have got a Thomas, who we'll see in a moment. Okay, we're playing for a microwave oven. <laughs> I asked, what sort of things does Mum like wearing? <laughs> <laughs> did he say? <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he say pink frilly knickers, <laughs> clogs, her gas mask, or something equally elegant? The pink frilly knitters. Oh. <laughs> she wears pink pants with frilly bits around the middle. Does, does your dad like it? Yeah. He wears frog pants. Frog pants? Yeah. And his pink pants, the ones. <laughs> Let's move on quickly. It's Prue's beauty case. <laughs> I'm just going to take another precaution here. <laughs> it was just a short mental leap from there to ask him what dad likes seeing mum wearing. <laughs> Did he say her Nora Batty outfit, <laughs> her drain cleaning gear, something flimsy? I think it's something flimsy. Something flimsy. Something flimsy. Something flimsy. Definitely. Very flimsy. If your dad could choose something for your mum to wear, what, what do you think he'd really like to see? A bra. <laughs> a bra. A bra. Yeah. Uh, oh, my mum's got these bras which um, uh, are see through. What do you mean? Um, like to see your dad wearing? See through knickers. <laughs> Table lads, bottle of horse liniment could be yours. <laughs> I wondered if Thomas had any secrets from mum and dad. Now, did he say, you don't get to my age without stacking up a few skeletons in the cupboard, no? <laughs> I haven't told them about the tooth fairy yet. I read a really rude book. It's the really rude book. <laughs> the, I read a really weird book, and uh, it said that um, 
on the book how you have SEX. Because I don't think my parents would have told me because they're oh, really? a bit too intellectual. <laughs> Well, we're playing for a gnome now. It's a gnome. Uh, we were talking about people he didn't like, such as Saddam Hussein. And I asked, who else don't you like? Did he say Attila the Hun, Genghis Khan, John Major? It's a bit cruel on Mr. Major, that one. Actually. It probably was John Major. John Major. He could have been Prime Minister. Oh, did he? Yeah, I wanted to be Prime Minister until he put me off. And also, he sat Neil Kinnock. <laughs> he sacked Neil Kinnock, did he? Yeah, he yeah. retired, sort of, because um, he couldn't lead the Liberal hypocrites. The Liberal hi hypocrites? Mm -hmm. Sorry, who's leader of the Liberal hypocrites? Uh, oh, I forgot his name. It's awful. I don't know. Bill Clinton? No, he's the Prime Minister of Australia. <laughs> We've got three things. One says, I must promise to have my hair cut willingly from now on. I must practice the violin every evening for a fortnight. I must eat five croissants with honey every morning for a week. And what did you ask for when I mentioned the subject of T-O-Y? Super Nintendo. Yes, there you go. OK, it's the green one. Oh, no. No. <laughs> yes! Read it! Well, read it, Tom. Go on. Yes, you must. I must eat five crustles with honey every morning for a week. <laughs> but then, you'll be able to with that. Yeah. Yeah. Great pleasure to meet you. Thanks a lot. See you I'd love you to be part of my Christmas show. Is there someone in your life who deserves a very special thank you? Write to me now, suggesting an original gift idea, something that money can't buy. The address is P.O. Box 2020, London, W12 6HP.